It is our understanding that they've gone with a 4-5-1. Well, the lone striker has to be prepared to do some of the work himself, but essentially he needs two of the three central midfielders to make runs beyond him and trust that the wide men can, can service the penalty box and make those link-up runs from out to in. He should get plenty of support with this setup. So it's away we go then. Valbuena. Jota. Shots to cross here. Pedro Neto! He was well picked out, just needed a better finish. Well, by crossing the ball so quickly, I think this defence just can't get set to deal with it. I think deserved a better outcome than what we saw. But um, worth exploring more. Valbuena. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Puts in a cross. That has put a stop to that. Oh, that's a waste. Up for a throw. And it's Valbuena. It's Valbuena! intercepted really alert to the danger keeper sends it forward Olympiacos have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here yeah that's that's interesting so what are they attempting to do well it's it's a bold attempt in my opinion to goes for goal all the balls come loose Now the counter. Peter, we can only applaud that quality of tackle in the circumstances. It was probably goal-saving. That's a promising ball. Jota. Ruben Neves. Hoisted towards the area. Great run on the overlap here. Valbuena has a hit. Good stop. That wasn't easy. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. And they're not going to make any further progress now. Half-time whistle goes, so now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goalless. How's the first half compared with your expectation? It's been all left field, and while the supply has been decent, it's bringing no reward, so this needs a different approach. So they head in, no further forward. The score here, still nil-nil. And we're already back underway here. Well, that first 45 minutes didn't deliver as we'd hoped. Lots of effort, but a, a lack of quality with the finishing has left us hoping that someone can step up and produce something a little more magical. A 
And here's Valbuena. Oh, what a ball. Has a pop! Terribly unfortunate for them, and maybe we can attribute that to a to a loss of focus. Fortuitous as it may have been, they all count one. Well, you can't ask for much better than that, Peter. Bang, bang, two in double quick time. Gets away from his opponent. Great lead! Oh, just couldn't turn it in. Well, being able to generate that amount of activity in the box means it's hard not to pick someone out. Ah, oh, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. Valbuena. Well, they can break here. Gets the better of his man. Jota. Well, it's good stuff. This is better. Well, this isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. Just has to be done. Omar Al Abdullawi desperately wants to get on the end of this. And it's Raul. Omar El Abdullawi. Olympiacos are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. Valbuena. Has a pop! Olympiacos are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. He gets past his man. Shooting chance! Valbuena. Confirmation that there will be two minutes stoppage time. Valbuena. He's pulled him up for that challenge. And he's going to have his name taken. <laughs> Forward it goes. And that will be the final act. So it ends 1-0. An enthralling game and an agonizingly narrow defeat would you summarize what we've seen today then Jim it was a very good game played in the right spirit with a fitting atmosphere and I think football won this time that's where we have to end it from me Peter Drury and my